The recent conflict between Israel and Palestine has become increasingly important to understand where it started and what's happening now. Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome back to Illustrate to Educate. In this video, we'll take a look at the root of the conflict all the way up to the current events happening now. The conflict between Israel and Palestine is a long-standing complex dispute over territory, national identity, and security. At its core, it revolves around the historical and competing claims of Israelis and Palestinians to the same land, particularly in the area known as Israel and the Palestinian territories, the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem. Additionally, the militant group Hamas is a significant player in this conflict. The roots of the conflict can be traced back to the late 19th and early 20th centuries when Jewish immigration to Palestine, then part of the Ottoman Empire, began to increase. After World War I, the League of Nations granted Britain the mandate to govern Palestine. During this period, tensions between Jewish immigrants and Arab residents grew. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a plan to partition Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states with Jerusalem as an international city. Jewish leaders accepted the plan, but Arab leaders rejected it, leading to violence. In 1948, Israel declared its independence, leading to the Arab-Israeli War. Arab states intervened and a ceasefire was eventually declared in 1949. This war resulted in the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Palestinian Arabs, creating the Palestinian refugee crisis. Israel has since occupied various territories, including the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem, as a result of subsequent conflicts. Israel's establishment of settlements in these occupied territories has been a major point of contention, as it's seen as a violation of international law and hindrance to peace. Palestinians have sought self-determination and statehood, with the Palestinian Liberation Organization representing their interests. Negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians, often mediated by the international community, have been ongoing for decades but have made limited progress. Now, how does Hamas play into this? Hamas is a Palestinian militant and political organization founded in 1987. It emerged as an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood and opposes Israel's existence. In 2006, Hamas won legislative elections in the Gaza Strip and subsequently took control there while the West Bank remained under the control of the Palestinian Authority, which is dominated by the Fatah Party. Hamas and Israel have engaged in multiple conflicts, including wars in 2008 to 2009, 2012, and 2014, and 2021. These conflicts have resulted in significant casualties and damage. So what's happening now? Hamas officials cited long-simmering tensions, including a dispute over the sensitive Al-Aqsa Mosque, sacred to both Muslims and Jews, that led to the surprise attack out of Gaza. Hamas also has cited the expansion of Jewish settlements on lands Palestinians claim for a future state, and Ben Gavir, an Israeli religious nationalist's efforts to toughen restrictions on Palestinian prisoners in Israel. This attack by Hamas resulted in the Israeli government declaring war. The surprise attack included militants blowing through a fortified border fence and killing civilians and soldiers in Israeli communities along the Gaza frontier during a Jewish holiday. Israel continues to strike back with airstrikes on the Gaza Strip, including one that flattened a 14-story tower that held Hamas offices. On October 9th, Israeli Defense Minister said that he has ordered a complete siege on Gaza and that the authorities would cut electricity and block the entry of food and fuel to the Palestinian territory. There continues to be captives held on both sides and isolated conflicts arising in the area. Several Western nations have voiced their support and solidarity for Israel, while many nations or groups in the Middle East have shown support for Palestinians and the resistance of Hamas and its fight against Israel. Did you enjoy this video explaining the Israel and Palestinian conflict? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.